Welcome back guys, in this video I will be showing you how to enable FSR 3.1.1 frame generation in Lies of P running on my ROG Ally Windows 11 I will be running the PC Game Pass version of the game We will be using Nitex Free OptiScaler mod to enable FSR frame generation Now this can be done using Luke FC's Uniscaler mod as well but in that case the game's HUD elements will flicker this problem is not present in OptiScaler mod if your PC has an RTX GPU, you can use DLSS Upscaler in conjunction with FSR frame generation. My ROG Ally has a Radeon based GPU 780M, so I'll be using XCSS Upscaler in conjunction with FSR. Lies of P is a Souls like game. We play as a puppet who traverses the fictional city of Krat, plagued by both an epidemic of petrification disease and a puppet uprising. Its art style is similar to Bloodborne. Before jumping into the gameplay, I would like to thank Xbox and Keymailer for providing me with a free monthly subscription of PC Game Pass. With this subscription we get access to hundreds of games and can play them for as long as we want until our subscription expires. EA Play membership is also included with Game Pass. We also get a small discount on some games being sold on Microsoft Store. Games from both Microsoft first party and even third party studios are included with Game Pass. In India, Microsoft even supports UPI mode of payment. First I'll show you how to install OptiScaler mod, we'll be using this version 0.7 preview 23 build. Website link will be given in the description. Scroll down, expand the asset section, click on the .7z link. This is the archive file that I just downloaded, extract its contents. Right click, extract all, extract. Now just open DLSS overrides folder, execute this registry file, enable signature override. This step is not required on PCs that have an RTX GPU. Run. Yes. OK. Go back. Need to change the name of this DLL file from NVNGX to DXGI. Copy all of the DLL files and even this INI file. Don't need to copy these two folders. We need to paste them in the games installed directory where the games exe file is present. Back to Xbox Windows app, just click on the three dots here next to play button under Lies of P, Manage, Files, Browse, there's the games install folder, Lies of P, open it, open content folder, open Lies of P folder, open binaries folder, open WinGDK folder, yeah this is the directory where you need to paste the mod files. Now we need to find the games DLSS upscaler DLL file. Go back to the games install folder, lies of p, open it, open content folder, open engine folder, open plugins folder, open marketplace folder, there is the dlss folder, binaries folder, third party, win64, there is dlss upscalers dll file copied, paste it in the same directory where you pasted the mod files, right here. Change its name from nvngx underscore dlss to nvngx. That's it, the mod has been installed. As this is the PC Game Pass version of Lies of P, its profile did not pop up automatically in AMD Adrenaline software. Make sure no third party overlay like Afterburner or RTSS is running in the background, otherwise, the mod will not work properly. I have connected my Gullicate KK3 Max gamepad to Ally via Bluetooth mode. For this game, I have set the UMA buffer size to 6 GB. My Ally is running on BIOS version 441. Install AMD's latest GPU driver, Adrenaline version 24.10.1. Using a 25 watts manual profile, all 3 power values set at 25 watts. 900p resolution CPU boost disable. Start the game. In game settings, display mode borderless. 900p resolution, VSync off. We have access to DLSS upscaler. This means the mod is working. I am using the upscaler's quality preset. Games graphics preset set to high. Just enable army plate overlay. Adrenaline overlay keeps flickering in this game. Not sure why. As I have installed AMD's GPU driver, Adrenaline Abeke Power Army Crate overlay does not show a proper value for APU Watt and GPU. Open OptiScaler menu by pressing the insert keyboard key. Here's the menu. Text is a bit small. I have selected XCSS Upscaler. 
you can select FSR 3.1 upscaler if you want entirely up to you but with FSR 3.1 upscaler I observe some texture shimmering issue this issue was not present in the case of XCSS upscaler version 1.3.1 frame generation disabled for the time being this is Grand Central Station raining gorgeous visuals FPS without frame generation is around 50 good performance I missed oh my god ok I'll just enable frame generation now 48 FPS here on save and I close back to the game yeah I can observe the added amount of smoothness see but the game's HUD elements are also flickering it's the same problem that we face when using Luke FC's Uniscalar mod in this game as the game does not support DLSS frame generation just open the debug view of of this killer mod in the bottom middle image you can see the game's HUD elements this means HUD elements will flicker when we enable OptiScaler's frame generation so just enable this setting frame generation hard fix limit value set to 1 extended disabled close now check out the bottom middle image you can see in this image there are no hard elements this means the hard elements won't flicker when we enable the mods frame generation just disable debug view yeah it crashed the game can happen I'll just restart the game resume the game from the same point play the game for a brief moment yeah input delay is not a problem not observing any hitching I'll kill the puppets on my way. Stargazer serve as a checkpoint akin to bonfires and souls game. Other stargazer is on the other side. This guy tried to jump on me. Yeah, better to log on to our targets. Input delay is not a problem. Text is not flickering. This gate is locked. Need to unlock the gate from the other side. It's very impressed by the mod's performance. Just make sure you don't cycle through the mod menu settings. It can cause the game to crash. Just like when I toggle through debug setting cause the game to crash so that's it for the video guys i hope you find it useful thanks for watching and have a nice day